Hey, it's Justine, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the brand new invisible dive case for the Insta360 X3 camera. You guys have seen me review these cameras in the past, and I just recently got into diving. So we're gonna take two of my favorite things, the Insta360 X3 camera and diving, and put them together. So of course, this is a 360 camera, so you'll see it has two lenses, one on the front, one on the back, and it has a large LCD, so you'll be able to actually see what you're filming. This also can just be a montage, so, you know. So this can shoot up to 5.7K in 360. You can shoot 72 megapixel, 360 degree photos. It has active HDR, flow state stabilization, a 360 degree horizon lock, and it's waterproof up to 10 meters or 33 feet. It's got voice control and AI editing. You can also use this in a 4K single lens mode, so it will only use one of the lenses, so you won't have to worry about editing 360 footage. Now with the dive case, this will make the camera waterproof up to 164 feet or 50 meters. This will give you crystal clear 360 video and seamless underwater stitching. And of course, this is the invisible dive case, so you won't have to worry about seeing the bottom of the case or the selfie stick. Oh, look how cool it is. Whoa. Like, where am I gonna go and test this out? I don't know. Need to find somewhere cool. Our little baggie. And I don't know what these things are yet but we're gonna find out. So here's the case, let's open it up. I like that this gives you access to the button so you can fully control it underwater. It does say that if you do use this in salt water, you want to rinse it or soak it in fresh water for about 60 minutes to make sure that none of the salt crystals or anything starts to form on it. Oh, so those little things are anti-fog inserts. That makes sense. So you just put those right inside. So let's see how this fits. I mean, are we surprised? It's a perfect fit. The thing that I love so much about Insta360 is their editing software. You can edit in their Insta360 Studio app on a desktop, or you can import the footage directly to your phone and edit on the go. They have all kinds of AI editing, which makes it super fun and easy to import your footage as soon as you're done filming and get something edited and posted right away. Now this can be also used for diving, so you don't have to go down far depths, but this dome is specifically designed for really just shooting underwater scenarios. So if you do use this above the water, Water, it's not gonna quite perform the way that it should. So, underwater only. Speaking of which, let's uh, let's go find some water and, and, and hop in. So here it is, the Insta360 Invisible Dive Case, and I am currently in Hawaii, and I've been having so much fun testing this out. I recently got open water certified, so this trip would have made my 15th and 16th dives ever. Now, I am new to diving, but cameras and tech are something that I'm not new at, and especially when it comes to the Insta360, because I'm obsessed with these cameras. What I love so much using these top side is the fact that it is a 360 camera, which means you can hold it out and everything around you is being filmed. But why? this is so incredible, especially for content creators, is you don't have to worry about getting the shot because you can find the shot later. You're filming everything. Now, of course, this does carry through to underwater, but underwater things are a little bit different, especially as you start diving deeper. One of the things that I noticed is how good this looked in really great lighting. My sister did more snorkeling, I did more diving. So in those deeper depths, as long as you have decent lighting, the footage is going to look really good and crisp. The deepest that I I dove was about 98 feet, which for me, that is so far my record. And it really is a whole different experience when you're filming underwater, especially at those depths, because the perspective, everything sort of changes. And with the lack of lighting, you definitely have to be more conscious about how you're filming. So we did have a flashlight, which really helped in getting some of these shots. Now, the appeal of the invisible dive case is the fact that you can hold this out and everywhere that you film will be viewable and the selfie stick will be masked out. Now, there was a previous version of this, which I never tried since I'm so new to underwater activities activities that you can see here in this example footage, you can actually see the case. So that's why this new one is so special because it was developed to make the case invisible. <laughs> was filming a lot of this content was holding it straight out in front of you. 
And because it is 360, like I said, you can go in and reframe all of these shots. So you'll see here I'm in the Insta360 Studio app, and this allows me to go and scroll around. I can use keyframes, I can change the perspective, and I can figure out all of the things that I wanna see. So for example, we swam into the shark cave. So this is all the same shot. This is me looking at the shark, and this is the shark that I'm looking at. So I'm able to just hold this out in front and get both of those shots. And it's so easy to edit on the go on your phone. Like I can take all of this stuff as soon as we are finished diving, sync it to my phone and start editing and getting some clips to post to social. If you guys are interested in the Insta360 and the dive accessories, I'll put a link in the description. A huge thank you to Insta360 for partnering with me on this video. I am such a huge fan of their cameras and I'm so appreciative of how supportive they've been of my channel and they're just incredible. And I'm so excited to see what you guys think of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any dive suggestions or places that I should visit, please leave them in the comments below and I look forward to reading those. See you later.